expert says about early warning signs of kidney disease. Kidney disease, also known as renal disease, refers to the damage or dysfunction of the kidneys, which are responsible for filtering waste products and excess fluid from the blood. There are several warning signs of a renal problem, however, most of the time, these are confused or ignored with other pathologies due to their non-specific trait. Therefore, one has to be very vigilant and should get regular kidney profile tests at the earliest if they have any signs of a kidney problem. Furthermore, if you're at risk for renal disease due to hypertension, diabetes, a family history of kidney failure, or age above 60 years, then it's essential to get tested annually. While the only definitive way to diagnose a kidney disease is to get confirmatory tests done, here are some early warning signs of kidney disease. Number 1. Anemia. Hemoglobin level starts to fall, one might look pale, without any apparent sight of blood loss from the body. It is one of the common complications of kidney disease. This can also cause weakness and fatigue. The cause of anemia is multifactorial, which includes low erythropoietin levels, low iron levels, toxin accumulation, causing bone marrow suppression to name a few. 2. Weakness. Early fatigability is almost always a universal symptom of kidney disease. As renal dysfunction progresses, this symptom becomes more and more prominent. One may feel more tired or exhausted than on normal days and will be unable to perform more strenuous activities, thus requiring rest more often. This is largely due to the accumulation of toxins and impurities in the blood, resulting from poor kidney function. Being a non-specific symptom, it is often ignored by most of the people and not thoroughly investigated. 3. Dry and itchy skin. 3. Dry and itchy skin. Dry and itchy skin can be a sign of advanced kidney disease. As the renal function falls, toxins tend to accumulate in the body, leading to itchy, dry and foul-smelling skin. 4. Decreased appetite. A buildup of toxins due to impaired kidney function may cause you to lose your appetite, whether because you feel full or too sick or tired to eat. 5. Swelling in your hands, legs, or feet. When your kidneys aren't removing excess fluid and sodium from your body, swelling also known as edema may occur in your feet or other lower extremities. 6. Puffiness around the eyes. Protein leaking into your urine as a result of kidney damage may cause persistent puffiness around the eyes, an early sign of kidney disease. 7. Early morning nausea and vomiting. Another one of the earliest signs of worsening renal function in the presence of early morning nausea, which is often classically described as hitting the person when he or she goes to the bathroom in the morning for brushing his or her teeth. It also contributes to the poor appetite of the individual. At end-stage renal failure, the patient tends to have multiple episodes of vomiting and complete loss of appetite. 8. The backache or lower abdomen pain. Pain in back, side or below the ribs can be an early symptom of kidney disorder like renal calculus or pyelonephritis. Similarly, lower abdomen pain can be associated with bladder infection or stone in a ureter of the tube connecting the kidney and bladder. Such symptoms should not be ignored and investigated further by a routine imaging study like X-ray, KUB, or ultrasound abdomen. 9. Foamy urine or blood in urine. Excessive frothiness in the urine indicates the presence of protein in the urine. When the filtering mechanism of the kidney has been or is being damaged, protein blood cells start to leak out into the urine. In addition to signaling kidney disease, blood in the urine can indicate tumors, kidney stones or any kind of infection. Also, pus associated with urine, along with fever or chills, can be serious and may again be a sign of a serious urinary tract infection. Thus changes in color, consistency or nature of urine should be informed as early as possible to a kidney specialist. 10. High blood pressure. Excess fluid and sodium buildup as a result of kidney disease can cause you to have higher blood pressure. High blood pressure can also damage the blood vessels in the kidneys and lead to a worsening of kidney disease over time. 11. Changes in urination frequency. Healthy kidneys help filter blood to create urine. When the kidneys don't function well, urination issues may occur such as needing to urinate more often or seeing blood in your urine. You may also experience urine that's foamy or bubbly, which could be an early sign that protein is getting into your urine due to damaged kidneys. How to diagnose kidney disease. Your doctor is going to determine whether you are predisposed to renal disease. They will then perform some tests to see whether or not your kidneys are functioning correctly. 
1. Urine test. This entails peeing in a cup and having your urine tested. Too much protein in your urine is one of the primary indicators that something may be wrong with your kidneys. 2. Blood test. Your doctor will likely order lab testing to check your creatinine levels. Because kidney damage reduces the ability to filter creatinine from the blood, more significant amounts may indicate a kidney problem. 3. Imaging test. Depending on the situation, your doctor may also request ultrasound or MRI imaging studies to understand the structures inside your kidneys better. 4. Kidney biopsy. Not every medical condition will necessitate a kidney biopsy, but some, such as glomerulonephritis and kidney cancer, will almost certainly necessitate one so your doctor can better grasp what's going on with the cells in your kidneys. What are the stages of kidney disease based on GFR? Glomerular filtration rate, or GFR is a mathematical calculation, used the doctors to assess the stage of kidney disease and is based on the patient's age, gender and serum creatinine level. When the kidneys perform correctly, they eliminate creatinine from the blood. However, as renal function declines, blood creatinine levels rise. Stage 1. GFR of 90 or higher. This stage is classified as minor kidney impairment. Kidney function is still normal, and no symptoms are present. Stage 2. GFR between 60 and 89. This grade of kidney impairment is classified as mild to moderate. Minor symptoms such as tiredness or minor edema are possible. Stage 3. GFR between 30 and 59. This grade of kidney impairment is classified as moderate to severe. Symptoms such as increased weariness, edema, and changes in urine output may become more obvious. Stage 4. GFR between 15 and 29. This level is classified as significant kidney injury. Symptoms such as decreased appetite, nausea, vomiting, and difficulty sleeping worsen. Stage 5. GFR less than 15 or on dialysis. End-stage renal disease, the most severe form of kidney impairment, is evaluated at this stage. Severe exhaustion, trouble breathing and anemia are all possible symptoms. Tips to keep your kidneys healthy. There are several ways to reduce the risk of developing kidney disease. So why do wait until your kidneys are diseased? Following are a few steps to look after the health of your kidneys. 1. Hydration. Staying well hydrated is crucial for kidney health. Drinking adequate water helps the kidneys flush waste products and maintain proper fluid balance. Drinking about 8 cups or 64 ounces of water daily is generally recommended, but individual needs may vary based on factors like climate and activity level. 2. Regular exercise. Regular physical activity helps maintain overall health, including kidney health. Exercise improves cardiovascular fitness, helps control blood pressure, and reduces the risk of chronic diseases. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate-intensity aerobic activity or 75 minutes of vigorous activity per week, along with strength training exercises. 3. Check blood sugar levels regularly and keep them under optimal levels. Kidney damage in diabetic patients is very common and can be prevented if detected early. Therefore, it is advisable to keep a regular check on your blood sugar levels, avoid sweet food products, and meet a physician if blood sugar levels or HbA1c are raised. Keep HbA1c levels under 6.04. Balance your lifestyle properly by taking a restful night's sleep of at least 8 hours a day. A good night's sleep is essential to remain healthy. 5. Monitor blood pressure regularly and keep it under control. In case you have hypertension, take antihypertensives as advised by your doctor, maintain a healthy lifestyle, and make necessary dietary changes. The normal blood pressure level is less than 120 over 80. High blood pressure can also cause kidney disorders besides leading to a stroke or heart attack. 6. Low sodium or salt diet. Keep your sodium or salt intake in control. This means you need to cut off packaged or restaurant foods too. Also, do not add extra salt to your food. Low salt diet decreases the load on the kidney and prevents the development of hypertension, hypertension-related disorders and also delays the progression of kidney disease. 7. Quit smoking. Smoking is one of the important modifiable risk factors implicated in the progression of kidney disease. Even smoking one cigarette could further harm an already weakened kidney. Smoking is also a risk factor for diabetes, hypertension CAD, thus one should stop smoking at once, which is quintessential, not only for the kidneys, but also for the overall health of the body. 8. Maintain appropriate body weight. 
Eat healthily and keep your weight in check. Get your body cholesterol levels checked regularly to prevent the deposition of cholesterol in your renal arteries. Also, eliminate saturated fats or fatty fried foods from the diet and emphasize on having lots of fruits and vegetables daily. The load on the kidneys increase as the weight of an individual increase. 9. Get kidney function tests and urine analysis is done regularly as a part of your annual checkup. As I mentioned before, in case you have diabetes, hypertension, obesity, or if you are over 60 years of age, get kidney function tests, renal imaging, and urine analysis was done regularly. In case of even slightest protein detection in urine, make sure to visit your nephrologist. Diabetics should especially be watchful of this. 10. Regular checkups and screenings. Regular health checkups help monitor kidney function and detect any potential issues at an early stage. Standard screening methods include routine blood pressure measurements, blood tests to assess kidney function such as serum creatinine and estimated glomerular filtration rate, and urine tests for protein and other abnormalities. When to see a doctor. Make an appointment with your doctor if you have signs or symptoms of kidney disease. Early detection might help prevent kidney disease from progressing to kidney failure. Recognition and awareness of warning signs and timely intervention can mean the difference between early detection and treatment of kidney disorder or kidney failure, which could end up with dialysis, kidney transplant, or even death. To summarize, recognizing the early warning signals of kidney disease is important in the route to a healthier life. We may take proactive actions to prevent kidney disease from taking hold in our bodies by recognizing the risk factors and treatment alternatives. We must pay attention to the messages our bodies provide us and respond if we notice any indicators of concern. We can effectively control and treat renal disease in this manner, giving ourselves the best chance of a healthy future. So, let us take care of our kidneys by being aware of the warning signs, understanding the risks, and adopting preventive actions to ensure they remain healthy for many years. Your kidneys will be grateful. Healthifiers, if you are looking for more auditory learning about health, go ahead just tap that screen. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.